professor of law at Texas Southern University and a former federal prosecutor. He joins me from New York. Uh, Michael, I know it's not possible to know what's going on inside jurors' heads, but do you think the prosecution made its case in this trial? Yeah, I think they did an, a very effective job of demonstrating that uh, Mr. Arbery had done nothing wrong, uh, that uh, he was simply running in the neighborhood. He had committed no crime, which was sort of the basis of the defense that, hey, we were entitled to stop him under Georgia's citizen arrest law, which is now abolished. But under Georgia's citizen arrest law, what you have to do is know that a crime is being committed and be aware that a crime is being committed. And they could articulate no crime that Mr. Arbery had committed. And so I think the prosecution did a very effective job of demonstrating that Mr. Arbery did absolutely nothing wrong. He was simply running in a neighborhood when he was trapped and gunned down by these three individuals. You know, the, these men weren't even charged until that awful video of Arbery's death was released. What impact did that video have on this case and in this trial, you think? Uh, I think that video was critical. I mean, and it's ironic that it's Mr. Bryant, the defendant, who actually recorded the video that ultimately came to light that did the men. Without this video, I don't think you ever get to a prosecution. And the individual, the district attorney, uh, who refused to prosecute, who had worked with the McMichaels before, uh, is now under indictment for her obstruction of justice and her failure to properly execute uh, and do her job as district attorney in investigating this particular case. So without this video that Mr. Bryan recorded, I doubt that there would have ever been charges brought. And again, I know it's not possible to get inside jurors' heads, but as the jury deliberates in this case, what clues might we get and what can we expect that might give us an indication of how they're leaning? Well, typically what will happen is jurors, uh, jurors, you know, if they have any questions for the judge, uh, they'll send out a note. So sometimes that can give you an indication of what they're thinking. Uh, you know, different lawyers have different perspectives on how quickly they come back, whether that gives you some indication on what has, has occurred, how long they contemplate. Usually, uh, usually, you know, the longer they contemplate, there, you know, there may be some disagreement among the jurors. Uh, so, you know, those are sort of the signs that lawyers look for. But other than that, you just have to sit and wait and believe that you did put on your very best case. Uh, and you just sort of have to, have to sit and wait. But if they send out a question, you may get an indication of where they're leaning. All right. And we'll leave it there. Michael Sterling joining us from New York. Thank you.